Hello everyone, I'm an ARC survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing how the narcissist will never be the same without you. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist will never be the same without you. When a narcissist discards their source of supply, they typically feel confident about their decision. They feel satisfied with themselves because they assume that the quality of their lives is going to improve. Which is why when the relationship is over, they will try to make you believe that you are worse off without them, as though they're so much happier without you. But that is not true. That is not real. They just know how to make it look real because they're master manipulators. And there is an incentive for them to do that because then they can get the reactions they want from you. Just as they did at the beginning of the relationship when they were love bombing you, when they displayed a false character to you, a character that is now nowhere to be found. But at the same time, it seemed convincing and believable because it was intentionally planned and directed to get you to believe in it. Just as when you might go to a movie theater, while you're watching the movie, you believe that what you're seeing on the screen is real because you're deeply absorbed and immersed in it. But as soon as the credits begin to roll, you regain your consciousness and you come back to reality, which can be likened to your experience with the narcissist. But now the movie is over, or it only continues if you continue to observe their new situation with their new supply until the credits roll again and the new supply realizes that it isn't real. Because all the narcissist has, has done when they move on to the new supply is made superficial changes to fit into this new situation more smoothly, to make their character more relevant, suitable and effective. But it is still a false character and it is still an illusion. It's only intended to deceive, to make you believe that they're satisfied with this new situation because the power lies in your belief. It validates the illusion. It makes it seem real to them, which is why they will go out of their way to make you believe they're so much happier with this new person, to make you feel like you're missing out on something when it's really just lies and manipulation because the best you will ever get from a narcissist is an illusion. They're very childish and immature. They have an arrested emotional development. So they don't have anything that a healthy, mature adult would be satisfied with, which is why they couldn't sustain the relationship with you. They often resorted to the behavior of a toddler because of their inability to regulate their own emotions. They may look like adults, but they are not capable of operating like adults. They can only mimic our behavior. The reality is that narcissists typically operate in the emotional range of a teenager, which is how they can be so cruel. And it's why they're often so moody and contradictory. So anything you see after the discard is nothing more than an act. They're just trying to make you jealous because unknowingly to you, they actually feel lonely and ignored. And they are desiring a sense of agency and empowerment, which is why they're projecting their feelings of, it, of jealousy onto you. But what they're involved in is nothing to be jealous of, because it's nothing that a healthy, mature adult would want to be involved in. They run from commitment, accountability, obligation and duty. They're not seeking growth or development. They're not seeking to ascend to a higher position because they're very lazy and unmotivated. They hate having to respond to the best of their ability 
they hate being involved in important duties because they lack communication skills, interpersonal skills, emotional intelligence and problem solving. They're not solution focused because they lack empathy and self-awareness so they're unable to learn and, and evolve which is why they often engage in low-level disruptive behavior because they lack the necessary skills to succeed. They typically rely on other people to pull them out of difficult or challenging situations because they have no desire or motivation to attain anything on their own, which is why they will often keep you at arm's length and they won't let you get too close because they don't want you to directly witness their living arrangements as it would completely destroy the illusion. Because the reality is that they are lazy and unmotivated, which is why they're always looking for the come up. They're always looking to snag someone who is more attractive, successful and richer than they are. They're always looking for get rich quick schemes, where they plan to obtain high rates of return for a small investment. Because despite how confident and secure they may seem, they actually lack the necessary skills to survive and succeed. But when they discard a source of supply, they're often vulnerable to other manipulative people who can sell them a dream. They can be gullible and easily persuaded to believe that they are involved in something credible and trustworthy. So all anyone has to do is feed their ego and make them feel special to then have them under their influence and control. And because they're willing to blindly believe in something, they expect you to believe in it too. And they hope that you will be jealous of them. But if you pay close consideration to what they're displaying to you, you will realize that it's really not that great. Especially considering that they're typically involved in illegal or immoral activities, which no law abiding citizen would want to be associated with. So it's really not something worth bragging about. And yet, they're so proud and boastful about it, when it's typically just something they're settling for, if they have no other options or choices. And yet, they portray it as though they're doing something big, because maybe they just can't accept that after everything they accused you of being and doing, that this time they're actually being tricked for real. Which is how anyone can come along and sell them a dream. And then they will use that same dream to make you jealous when it really isn't all that they're making it out to be. Which is why you should not believe in what they're displaying to you, because it's not even intended to reflect the reality. It's intended to make you jealous. While beneath the facade, the narcissist is miserable and dissatisfied, and they are actually jealous of you. It's just that they don't want to reflect on those emotions, because it's very painful for them which is why they're using you as an outlet for these painful emotions. They're projecting their jealousy onto you through displaying excessive pride and self-satisfaction in regards to their abilities, possessions and achievements when it isn't even real. And the truth is that they will never be the same without you because now they have no one to make them feel better about themselves, no one to project their negative emotions onto, which is now they now feel worthless and unimportant and they are craving significance and relevance, which they attempt to satisfy through orchestrating these situations to make you jealous. Because through doing that, they can then project their negative emotions onto you. But it is all a lie. It's all an illusion. Because they do not possess the necessary skills to survive and succeed. Which is why they are now involved in things that a healthy, mature adult would not be satisfied with. But since you were susceptible to it in the past, they will use it to regain your attention. But you should recognize that it isn't worth your consideration and they should be perfect examples of that because they're trying to get your attention. Misery loves company. So they're trying to pull you back in with their grandiose delusions when what they're doing is nothing to be proud of and it's not something that you should be interested in because they're not even trying to progress past that point. They're not putting themselves in a more desirable or favorable position. When a person their age should want more from themselves and their life, rather than just seeking people's attention and reactions and trying to make you jealous with things that have no progression, that are lacking opportunities for advancement, with no growth or development, 
because even they're not satisfied with that, which is why they're always trying to pull you into it so that they can feel like they actually have something, even though they don't have anything. Which is why they're always bragging and boasting, because it isn't self-evident. You wouldn't even be aware of it if they weren't constantly showcasing and promoting it. Which is how you should know that it's not even worthy of your attention, because they know it. Which is why they always have to exaggerate it and act like it's so much more than what it actually is. Because in order for them to find any sort of fulfillment with it, they have to make you jealous. But even then, it's an illusion. They're wrapped up in fantasy, a make-believe world, because their reality isn't what they want it to be, and it never has been what they wanted it to be, which is how they ended up becoming this master manipulator and illusionist, where they can make anything look better than it is. When the reality is that they weren't happy with you, and they're never going to be happy without you, because they can't be happy. They can only make you believe that they are, along with making you believe that you were the issue. They have this obsessive need to make you believe that they are happier without you because they have a mental disorder. So deep down they're constantly experiencing extreme agitation and anxiety. There's so much negativity going on in their minds, which is why they behave the way that they do. And because of their disorder, it is impossible for them to attach to anyone because they're disconnected from themselves. They are stuck in repeated programming. So how they've treated you should reveal to you how they were treated in their childhood. They have to use people to get to where they want to be. They can't even tell you how they feel. All they can do is create illusions to divert your attention because they don't want you to know who they really are. If you did, you would know how dysfunctional they are, which is why they're never going to be vulnerable and they're never going to show their real emotions because they don't want anyone to know that they're experiencing great suffer, fear and unhappiness but it often reveals itself through their behaviours and through how they're interacting with you. Because if a person is healthy, they're going to be able to be their authentic selves, rather than having multiple personalities, which they change depending on who they're dealing with. But that's exactly what narcissists do. They're a different person with each person, because they're not being their authentic selves. They're trying to blend in, because image and status is very important to them. They want people to think of them in a certain way, but they can never be happy. They're always pretending to be something they're not because they know they're not going to be accepted for who they are, which is why they mold themselves into something they thought you wanted them to be. And you may have been tricked into believing that they're like you, but they're not. They actually have no identity of their own. They don't even know who they are and they can change their personality from one moment to the next because they're constantly in survival mode. They're just trying to survive which is why they want people to approve of them. They want people to see them in a certain way because they're ashamed of who they are. They don't want you to know who they actually are, which is why when they're really angry and they're blaming you for everything, they're actually just projecting. They're putting you down so that you're easier to control, which regulates their emotions and makes them feel better about themselves. But the fact that they have to do this is the reason why they will never be happy. It's why they will never be the same without you. Because once you're gone, they have no one to regulate their emotions. At least not at the level of what you used to do. And yet, they constantly have to focus on things other than themselves. So how could they ever be happy with themselves? How could they ever be happy with anyone? Because there's always something going on. And they're over the people. Because then they don't have to take accountability for their behaviours. And instead, they can externalize the blame while getting external validation, which is, which is exactly what they want because they can't give it to themselves. They can't regulate their own emotions, so they need other people to do that for them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one.